you can never talk about the issue of security sector reform, training, retraining the army and the military after conflict without looking at the perspective of women. The U.S. government put a billion dollars into rebuilding the Liberian army. We've just done a research, a study. It set a priority for the women in the different communities. And the revelation, the, what we got from that research is that, no, we're not concerned about the troops that are being retrained. We're not concerned about helicopters and AK-47. For us, security is basic social services, schools for our children. And when you talk about school and education for our children, the reality in Liberia and in many other parts of West Africa is really, really very sad. I also gave a statistics today to the women at the program that we just came back from two communities in Liberia. One community holds a population of 127,076 people. Within that community, we couldn't find 50 girls in high school. Another community has 84,000 inhabitants. We could only find 193 girls. And out of those 193 girls, schools authority tells us between now and May, the number will drop to probably 20 or 40. Many of them will have to stop school for different reasons. If you have all of these issues in different societies, you look at the whole issue of sexual and gender-based violence. It's increasing. You hear about the DR Congo. First week in May, I'm in Congo with a delegation of Congolese women to see how we start working with community women so that they too can just get up and do something. We, you have the whole issue of Sudan. Looming conflict in Sudan. The impact on women and girls is something that you just don't want to think about. You have the whole issue of Northern Uganda, where girls are raped and their lips are cut off so that no other man can have anything to do with them. This is the 21st century. These are the issues that we confront every time as we walk in the street. 15th of March, I'm, forming, I'm part of a delegation of West African women going to the country, Guinea Conakry. In September last year, I'm sure all of you or some of you heard, People protested the junta in the street. They were shot openly. But what was really, really disgusting was the soldiers that went in to stop the protest raped women publicly. And it's this, those images are now floating on the internet. So these are all issues that every day you wake up and people will ask you, what is the drive for your work? I tell people the drive for my work is to ensure that my daughters and these young girls, African girls, do not have to go through some of the things that we go through on a daily basis.